Alright, so we're still on the FPV build series. This time we're going to be working on the chassis. This is a Emax 250 Carbon Pro. As I'm sure you've seen in that unboxing bid, or I think I called it the haul vid, something along those lines. So here we got all our carbon fiber plates, got the hardware, close off the box, and throw that in the background here. So this is a pretty straightforward build. I'm gonna crack open all the hardware, rubber grommets, aluminum posts, everything that we need in there. And if you did not watch the haul video, I did mention in there, uh, these uh, chassis did have quite a bit of residue left in them from, I guess, the cutting process. So I gave them a nice soapy bath before we started. Avoid getting some carbon fiber dust in the lungs. <laughs> All right, so there's everything. This here, a little bit of a tight fit. We'll push it in off camera. Make sure we can get that in there. Like I said, figure that up off camera. So there's the bottom piece. There we have the upper plate. Everything looks good. <laughs> a couple bits of paper towel on there from the the cleaning all right so got that to fit here off camera and get our longest screws out that's the first set and that's what we're using to connect the booms so I'm gonna start with apologizing here uh, you should do the boom directly onto the chassis and not the spacer the spacer goes after the boom I figured that out halfway through <laughs> figured I'd just warn you guys no need to re-edit so what the spacer is for is to give you enough uh, room between the chassis and that other subplate, so that way uh, you can throw in some electronics. I've seen people put some uh, speed controllers in there. And here we go. Now it's fixed. Boom is on the chassis and the spacers are on the outside. Now we got them all in there and you can see how that little subplate goes in there and it gives us enough of a gap to put some electronics in between both. Protect them a little bit from crashes. So here we have eight nuts to add on top of everything. Just hand tighten those for now. So that portion here is done. And now we're gonna move on to our aluminum posts. So we have six posts. Very simple to see where they go. We only have three pre-drilled screws for that. I'll throw one in. I know I always tell you guys, anything that's going metal to metal, get some thread lock going on there. And if you're wondering what was up with those pliers, I threw some uh, duct tape on the end of them, so that way when I grab onto those posts to snug them up, I'm not scratching it. Fuel tubing, anything you can throw over there to keep them from scratching will help. Alright, so finish the other side here and be back. Alright, so done with that side. Now... You get the upper plate going on here. Make sure to put your, uh, I guess that's the camera portion of things in there because you're not going to be able to throw that in after you got those screws in. All right, so six in total. Get that one in there. Another one up front, and we'll finish that up off camera. All right, so now on to the rubber grommets, which will be holding our uh, GoPro for now, I guess. We'll see if it throws a CG off being so high. And here's the top part or top portion of that plate, should I say. Uh, wiggle and push that little grommet through. All right, I'll finish that off camera, save some time. All right, so that's done. You can see how it's going to take a lot of that gelness out of the uh, camera. Not a gimbal but uh, does cut out a lot of that wash so here I guess a little makeshift landing gears what we would call these thread lock as always because those are probably the first thing they're gonna fall out they do have uh, plastic nuts that go to the end of that but uh, <laughs> I seem to have misplaced that so you're not gonna see that in this footage and there we go completed and that's the Emax 250 FPV Quad Racer.
Next video, we'll show you some uh, electronics installs. Guys, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe.